Hello, it's Keto Granny, and welcome back to Keto Time. Today, we're going to talk about making a keto breakfast. Fast and easy. I'm going to start with Budweiser Jalapeno Cheddar Beer Bratwurst. This is something new that I'm trying. I like to try different meats and everything. And this is a good fatty bratwurst. It's already pre-cooked. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the skillet and let it start cooking. It's already fully cooked, so I'm just basically going to heat it over and brown it and serve it. Okay, while that's getting ready, I'm going to get my eggs. And as you see, I use the cage-free, pasture-raised eggs is what I like to use on the ketogenic diet. Those are the best eggs to use. However, sometimes you will see me with the regular eggs, so I have to admit that sometimes I do use regular eggs. So go ahead and crack your eggs into a bowl. And this makes it easier um, just to make sure that your eggs are good. Whoops, drop that in. Let's take that, make sure I get all the shell out. And I'm going to blend this. I'm going to uh, whip this and blend it up pretty good so that the egg whites and the yellows mix, mix pretty good. And what you want to remember when you're making breakfast, you want to keep your meals super simple on keto. You don't want to make everything so complicated where you won't want to cook or you want to think that the diet is too hard because it's really a very, very easy diet to follow. So I'm putting my seasonings in my egg and I use the Himalayan pink salt and a little bit of black pepper. And I'm going to blend that in really well and then I'm going to sit that off to the side and... Uh, I was mashing my avocado, so let's let's get back to that. So I take my avocado, and I try to have at least avocado three to four times a week. And I'm gonna make some guacamole, a guacamole. And so I'm mashing up my avocado really, really good in the bowl. And when I make my guacamole, I use little guacamole packets, and these help an awfully lot. Um, they're not high enough where they can kick you out of ketosis, and you can use these to make your foods taste good um, while you're doing the ketogenic diet. You can use other little packets, seasoning packets also on this diet. So I put in about a half of the package. Um, my husband doesn't really like um, too many vegetables, but um, he will eat some guacamole if I don't make it too spicy, so... I just put in a little bit of that um, guacamole seasoning and I'm going to make sure that that's blended really, really well um, in the bowl because it is a powdery substance. Now avocado, mmm, that tastes good. It tastes really good. I love avocado. Avocado is has lots of potassium and magnesium. On well, now, as you can see, the bratwurst are ready. So I'm going to get ready and, and move these over to a container um, and get ready to start my eggs. Now, you see I have some pan juices there, so I am going to um, add the juices back to the meat um, to make sure it stays savory and tasting good and juicy. Voila! clean pan. Okay, so I added a little butter to the pan and I'm letting the pan get hot. I like for my pan to be pretty well heated when I put my eggs in. So I'm going to put the eggs in and let them start cooking and I'm going to more or less fold the eggs instead of scrambling them this morning. And I actually should have started folding them a little sooner but this will work just as good. And by folding your eggs, you can see that you keep them a lot fluffier. And I like that. They're not so heavy. Eggs are half fat and half protein. So they are a very keto friendly, uh, uh, very keto friendly. Uh, I don't want to say, they're very keto friendly also. 
So I'm going to take the eggs and I'm going to plate my food. Get ready to serve it for breakfast. Now, I added in some extra things for my breakfast because I had a lot of leftovers. So I like to get my vegetables in early in the day. So I have a lettuce salad, iceberg lettuce salad, which has some um, cabbage and different things in it. I got a little bit of dressing on there. Got to taste it, got to taste it. Mm, so good. And then I've added in some collard greens that I had. And I got these from the comfort zone. So make sure you go by and test out the food at the comfort zone. It's located in my, inside the Royal Esquire Club. Avocado. There's my guacamole. Mm. And then there are my eggs. And then I have... Uh, my protein, which is going to be my eggs and my bratwurst. So you can see I get a full array of the foods that I need um, with my breakfast. I try to get in at least half of my vegetables for the day. If I'm doing OMAD, you would see a lot more vegetables added. Calories of this is only 990 approximately. I hope you've enjoyed this video and remember Keep it super simple when you're doing keto. You can use this same ingredients and make many meals in the morning. This is Keto Granny saying, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and keto on. Let's go.